meal. Hold on, mom, just a second. All right. Cody Low, what's going on in that head of yours? What's up? UT, mom. UT. Hey, Dupuy. Yeah, Coach? How'd my letter of recommendation do? Good, I got in. I'm sorry, I thought I told you. All right, that's great. So what's it gonna be? Are you going? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm still waiting to hear back from a lot of places. It's a hard decision to make. Well, good luck. Did you see Altuve last night? Yeah, dude's on fire. Because he can hit the curve. Well, finish up your cuts. I gotta lock up. Yes, sir. Hey, tomorrow's a weird schedule. We're gonna hit in the morning before we get on the bus for the tournament. Uh, if you see the other guys before the game, let them know. I will, Coach. Hey, Zach. Test tomorrow? Huh? <laughs> Just read the book next time. The novel opens on a dreary November afternoon at Gateshead, the home of the wealthy Reed family. A young girl named Jane Eyre sits in the drawing room reading Buick's History of British Birds. Jane's aunt, Mrs. Reed, has forbidden her niece to play with her cousins Eliza, Georgiana, and the bullying John. I cannot deal with this right now. Me neither. Zach, do you even care about Jane Eyre? I don't care about Jane Eyre. Kevin, do you care about Jane Eyre? I'm seriously gonna punch you both. You know what, all I have to do is pass. I've already gotten into college. Same here. I have a state choir competition coming up. Wait, rewind for a sec. What? You've already heard back from college? Yeah. What school? UT. At Austin? The University of Texas at Austin. No way, I haven't even had my UH audition. Y'all are both gonna fail this test. My ride's here, good luck. Crap! What time is it? It's a little past 10. I'm going to bed. Are you going to sleep in that chair? Crap, I didn't mean to fall asleep. Um, Mom, I have to make cookies tomorrow for the best friend's dance. Um, I need them by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Ashley! I'm sorry! How many cookies do you need? About 100? Ashley! I'm sorry I fell asleep! So we'll just go to the store and we'll buy them from there. Well, the thing is, I told them that we would make them and write all their names on them. Well, I guess I'll go to the store and get what we need to get. But you're going to have to go look for the recipe and you're going to have to get the oven started. Okay, thanks, Mom. Oh, don't thank me just yet. You're going to pay me back for this one. Hey, you home? Yeah, why? Where are you? I just got off work, and I'm going to a friend's house, but... Uh, anyways, I completely forgot that Mom's cleaning today. I need you to go to my room and get something. Get what? Uh, it, it's in the back. Let me know when you're there. Okay, where is it? It's the shoebox in the back corner of my closet. What's back here? Narnia? Do you see it or not, Odie? God, your closet smells. Shut up and get it. Gatlin, Mom would have freaked if she found this. I, I know, that's why I'm having you do this. Okay, and what do you want me to do with it? Hide it in your room. Think of it as a gift for getting into UT. 
Oh, and yeah, mom did tell me about it. Dallin, it's already half empty. Yeah, I had to make sure it was good. Dallin, you're not even 21. How'd you get whiskey? Gallon, mom's right in the game room. What do you want me to do with this? Just put it in your backpack. Gallon, I can't put a bottle of whiskey in my backpack. Um, put it in your car? Yeah, mom, while mom's going all through your stuff, just put it in your car. When she's done, take it upstairs. I'll be home this weekend. We can celebrate then. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you, Bodie, and uh... And like Dad says... Don't do anything stupid, Bodie. What do you got? Nothing. Where are you going, son? To the car, I have to get my phone charger. Okay. Did you do something with your hair? Yeah, I colored it. It looks freaking great. Thanks, you noticed, son. Okay, well, my phone's gonna die, so... After midnight, not bad. By the way, you're cleaning this all up. Yes, Mom. And um, how do you expect to get this all to school tomorrow? Well, I was kind of hoping you'd give me a ride. I have to have all this set up in the natatorium before school. Well, only because I have a meeting tomorrow morning and because I love you. Thanks, Mom. Love you too. Okay, believe this wouldn't work out. Gotta go. It's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, we should make them do a dance for spring show and then they'd have to get up so early. Oh my goodness, we could be in charge of it and then we could play tricks on them. That would be so awesome. Come on, Amber, let's go. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, there's folks inside already setting up, so come on in. Uh, I gotta go get some supplies, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh gosh, Ashley, you need to go in there. They're waiting on you. I'm gonna be up at the front office for a meeting. Are you gonna need a ride today after school? Probably, but I don't know yet. I'll text you, okay? Okay, love you. Bye, Bye. love you. Okay, the ending is still a little rough, so we need to work on that tomorrow. It's okay, Miss Goza. Everything will go great. Yeah, we got this. I know. Hey, isn't your dad working on those props still? Yeah, he said he would. Okay, good. Amber, don't you drive a red car? Yes, ma'am, I do. I think you might be parked in a staff parking spot. Am I? Yes, ma'am. Wait, really? Yeah, I think you might be parked in her spot. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Am I gonna get towed? No, we can go move it. Come on, I'll come with you. Y'all hurry back because we gotta work on that routine again. Yes, yes ma'am! Man, I can't believe I can't find any parking spots. We're all the way at the natatorium. Who we'll let the sophomores park at the school anyway? Oh my gosh, I know. Oh wait, I think there's a spot. There is, but isn't that a staff spot? Can I get like a ticket or something? Um, I mean, I don't know why there's so many staff spots out here anyway, so just park in it, it'll be fine. Okay. Sorry, Coach Little, love you. Hey, how'd the test go? That test was murder. That bad? That bad. Like, really bad? Probably the worst 45 minutes of my life. Well, I can't do it. Not today. Can you take me home? I don't live far. Yeah, I don't think I can face pot until I get my grade up anyway, so let's go. Why do you have a shoe box? What is this? It's just a little present from Gallon. I'm saving it for this weekend. You know what? You do what you want later. I've got to get home and start reading. You're not going to say anything, are you? No, of course not. Don't do anything 
stupid, okay? Are you serious? What? That's like drinking at school. It's not drinking at school. I had one little sip. I just wanted to see how it tastes. Tell me how that isn't drinking at school. It's just not. Okay, that's two sips. I, that's officially drinking at school. I'm leaving. Zach, no, stay. If we get caught, I'm in just as much trouble as you. Which is exactly why you need to stay. Come on, take a sip. No, I'll stay, but I don't drink. <laughs> don't you have that big U of H audition coming up? Yeah. Why don't you warm up your vocal cords? I don't think... Zach, just one little sip. It's not going to kill you. We're already missing school anyway. We'll just go to your house and no one will know. <laughs> Wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Goes, we have to park all the way at the net. Hi, Miss Goza. Hi, Mr. Tucker. Do you have Amber Heard with you right now? Yes, she's right here. Well, see, she needs to move her vehicle. I had to look up her license plate. Apparently, she parked in Coach Little's spot, and he's not too happy right now. Oh, my goodness. This is not my day. Will you come and move it with me? Miss Goza, could we get a no? Are you kidding? Oh, what? Run! Dupuy. Yeah, coach? Where are you going? The bus. And where's the bus taking you? Uh, to the game. If the bus is taking you to the game, does that mean we're the visiting team or the home team? The visiting team, coach. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong uniform. We're wearing the blues today. I can't believe I forgot this. Oh, it's in my car. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. <laughs> is that Kevin? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not good. Here, have some. <laughs> God, that's so gross. Hey, Kevin! Here! What are y'all doing out here? Oh, just coping with how hard life is and the fact that I can't compete in one act until I read some dumb book. Are y'all drinking? Whoa, 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 Kevin, keep it down. There's no need to make a scene. Come here. Dude, y'all are being stupid. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Be like what? I'm leaving. Later. Wait, no, Kevin, wait. Oh, oh. sorry. Dude, how am I supposed to get in a bus reeking of booze? You know what my coach would do to me? Probably kill me to kick me off the team. Okay, okay, sorry. Listen, Kevin, no one's going to kill you, okay? We'll fix this. Zach, think! Uh, don't you have another pair of pants in your bag? Wait, yeah, yeah, I got a spare pair. Okay, well there's plenty of time, just go behind the car and change, we'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, like where are we gonna park this time, Kendall? Um, I think the next logical thing to do would be to park in Griffon's spot. Yeah, that would be funny, but like seriously, like maybe there's some spots at the front or something? Oh yeah, like those visitors ones? Yeah, maybe so. Hey, is that Ashley? That is Ashley. Hey Ashley, do you want to ride? Yeah, Ashley, that'd be great. Come on, get in, you can help me find a spot. Get in the car. It's, it's literally right around the corner. I'll no, drive. I'm driving. Kevin, get in the car. Oh, Ashley, do you have to make some cookies? Yeah, I'll show you some pictures. Oh my gosh, Ashley, those are so cute. Cody, I never want to talk to you again. Kevin, I said I was sorry. Yeah, me and my mom had to make so many last night. Stop yelling at each other. It's not helping. Oh, let me see. Oh. Will you stop yelling too, Zach? Number one, two, three, four.
one friend said, what is your emergency? Is she moving? <laughs> She's not moving. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm so down. sorry. What's going on? Where are you? The high school. Kevin! Kevin! Which high school are you at? Friendswood? <gasps> She's not moving. Okay, I have people on the way. Are you hurt? Amber! Is that Ashley? Kendall's hurt. Ashley and Kevin aren't moving. When are you going to get here? Help is on the way. We have them dispatched. <laughs> Thank you. Will you please introduce yourself to the court? Yvette Camarillo. Tell the court of the plans your lovely daughter Ashley had that are now stolen by this man. It's all taken away. <laughs> because Bodie decided to drink and drive. She was such a giving person who just wanted a happiness that we will never see. Solid. Time of death, 11 20. As you know, there was a serious auto collision today, and your daughter Ashley was in the back seat of the car. When she was brought in, she didn't have a pulse. And unfortunately, after everything we did to revive her, we were unable to. So I'm sorry to tell you, but your daughter has passed away. Good morning, Mrs. Queen. Good morning. This isn't a very good morning, is it? Not at all. You had a son named Kevin. Yes, I did. And he's dead today. Yes, he's no longer here. Um, a few days, weeks ago, I had a conversation with him and we talked about everything he'd earned and how hard he had worked for everything. And it was all paying off for him right now. 
And I said, you gotta keep going, Kevin. He goes, Mom, it's, it's bigger than me. This isn't about me. And I think that was taken from us, that this kid, he had gotten life, he knew what it was. That it was bigger than him and it wasn't about him. So now we don't have him to lead us as a community. His younger brother won't have him to be there when he scores his first touchdown at Friendswood. His brother won't be there for him. And that's just really hard for us to go on. We've heard testimony about the details of that wreck. And what I would like you to inform the court of is how that wreck, this needless drunk driving wreck, which was an assault with a deadly weapon on you has impacted you, if you would tell us, Amber. It's scary to see my friends all beat up, some that have died. I looked around my car after the accident because I woke up and I see Ashley laying there not moving, Kendall laying there, not moving, my friends that were laughing and giggling just beforehand. And all of a sudden, things were taken away from them. That could never be given back before. Well, it, Amber was driving the car, and the next thing I know, I'm just waking up in the hospital, and the doctor asked me if I could feel my legs, and I couldn't. He told me I was paralyzed from the waist down. What's your last name? Lo. Spell that for me. L O W E. What's your first name? Alan. A L A N. How old are you? 18. What school do you go to? Friendswood High School. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. All right, I'm gonna ask you some medical questions, okay? Okay. Are you an alcoholic? No, I'm not. Are you addicted to drugs? No, sir. Have you ever attempted suicide? No. Are you thinking about committing suicide now? No. Look up here at the camera. Hey, Mom. No, no, I'm fine. Mom, I'm really sorry. No, I, I'm in jail, Mom. I got into an accident. I think some people are dead. I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. Mom, I don't know what to do. <laughs> My job is to decide what to do at this point. And if there's anything I could do to undo it, I, I would too. But you can't. Those lives are gone. They'll always be gone. Therefore, Mr. Lowe, is the termination of this court that you be punished by imprisonment in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for a term of 20 years and that you further are punished by a fine of $5,000. Bailiff, you can take custody of the defendant. We are adjourned.